Now we're on the activity settings for Element Time. Activities are probably the trickiest thing in Element Time to get your head around, but they're really useful once you do. Think of an activity like anything, any event that you want to track on a site. What's going to happen is when the crew is done clocking out on the task, if you've specified activities for a job, it's going to prompt them with this list of activities. Did you aerate? Did you fertilize? Did you do whatever? And they'll tick off whether they did or didn't. You can actually have them also track quantities. So for example, you could say uh, mulching and uh, have them track quantities. So they could say, yes, we mulched and we put down 12 yards of mulch. Really handy for billing. You could also do unbillable events like uh, inspections. So especially in snow and ice, if you just want to track that we were there and we did an ice inspection, we can set that up as well as an activity. When the crew goes to clock out or when the plow operator goes to clock out from that site, it'll prompt them, did you do an inspection? They can tick it off, yes. And then that all comes out in a report. So we could print a report for the client that said, here's all the times that we did such and such activity, or in the case of billable activities, here how, here's how much you owe us for this. And the nice thing is it's ready instantly. As soon as the crew submits their timesheet, you've got a billing report ready to go. Let's take a look now at how to set up an activity. You can see here I've got a list of some common tasks that you might set up as activities. Aeration, fertilization, uh, an ice inspection, that would be a snow and ice contract, you know, mulch installed by the yard, etc. Um, to add an activity from scratch, you're just going to want to go down here and hit the plus button. And it'll ask you for a very simple bit of information, the name and the units. We're not going to track prices in here because prices can vary uh, significantly differently from job to job. So we're just asking for the name and for the units. So for example, if I wanted to track something like um, a pest control application, I could put pest control and my units might be app or application if I wanted to get it wrong. I like just app. So when I hit OK, you can see that now appears here in the list. And that's it. Setting up activities is very simple. But let's jump over and see what it looks like when we set up a job with activities. So I'm going to go to jobs now. I'm going to open this sample job. And now I'm looking at Acme Hall, and I'm going to go to activities. And here you can see I've set up three activities, a quality inspection, a fertilization, and an app. And I have an actual rate for this. So this one I'm charging them $200 each time we apply fertilizer. And down here, I also have a mulch installed activity and I'm measuring this one or I'm billing this one per unit and I'm charging them $36 a yard for mulch. Now to set this up on jobs, I've gone to the activities pane on the job and down here I go add activities. So I'll click that. Let's add the pest control one that we just set up. So here's my list of activities. These ones are crossed out because I'm already using them. I'm just going to tick off pest control. And now it says, do you want to track the quantity for this? So especially for things like mulch or um, uh, things done by the yard, you can track quantity. For pest control, I probably wouldn't. So I'll leave that as blank. Next one asks me if it's billable. So if it's not billable, if it's something like an inspection, just leave it as not billable. Or, or if whatever you're doing has been covered in the contract price, like salting. Um, if it's all covered in the contract, you can still leave that as not billable, but track that you did salting. Um, in this case, pest control, I'm going to say it is billable. So I'll drop this down and ask me, is it billable per unit or is it billable as an application? So if I was going to bill by the yard or by the ton or by the bag, um, I'll put per unit. In this case, I'm going to do per application. And let's say I charge them $300 per application of pest control. So I've set that up there. I click OK. And now it shows up on the, on the job. Now to make things fast, I opened up what it would look like on a timesheet already. And I did that before I added pest control, so you won't see that. So here's what it looks like on a timesheet. This is what your crews would see when they go to clock out. When they clock out of a task, if that task has activities associated with it, or if that job site has activities associated with it, it's going to ask the crews, did you fertilize? Did you mulch? Did you do a quality inspection? So that each and every time they clock out, they're prompted for this information or reduce the amount of times we forget to bill for extra work. So if we were there and we did a fertilization app, all I do is hit that with my finger and tick it on. Or if we did mulching, I tick that on as well. And notice mulching asks quantity. The reason for that is back here we set up mulch installed, bill by the unit, and track the quantity. We had this one, mulch installed, set up as yes, track quantities. So when that comes up on the cruise timesheet, it's going to ask for quantity. And there I can put in, say, 10 yards of mulch. And the last one, there's quality inspection. Again, I just tick it on, tick it off if I did it or didn't do it. But once I'm happy with this as the crew, I click Save. 
and now I've got my timesheet. And you'll have instant billable information as soon as that crew clicks that timesheet. You'll know on such and such a date, um, we did a fertilization app and we did the pest control app or whatever your settings are. And if they're billable, it'll also come out with a price for those as well. So that's how to set up activities and that's how to use them.